Hello and welcome back to Lord Fett Gaming Plays Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition. I'm your host, Lord Fett, and today's Neverwinter Night Enhanced Edition video guide. I'm showing everybody how to complete all henchmen tales in chapter two. From where you should get the actual side quests to the location of the items, and finally what you should get when you turn them all in. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Neverwinter Night content like this. And do not forget to hit the notification bell to be updated on my videos and more. Now, in Chapter 2, here's a very important requirement. You must have all the Chapter 1 items from the Hitchman. Because if you don't, yeah, you're not going to go anywhere. But still, here's the great news. If you have the items from Chapter 1, guess what? They'll be upgraded. This is why it's so important to do those Chapter 1 side quests here. So this way, you get a nice upgrade, which is really good. So I'm going to go over each item right now. So first of all, this is Shawin's belt right here. Upgraded from Chapter 1 to Chapter 3. It has charisma in it, which is really good and persuade. Now, next up is the Ring of the Rogue, Tom Eyes Ring right here, Dexterity plus three. It has some disabled trap and open lock skill bonuses, which is really nice. Next up is a uh, uh, Body Knox uh, Ring right here, it has charisma plus iron regeneration. Charisma is a uh, good thing on it. Iron regeneration is excellent. Dayland right here has plus three strength and plus immunity to fear. Mummies cannot fear you anymore, so this is like well worth it, especially for fighters. Now, next up is uh, Grimnall's uh, amulet here, plus three constitution, and the spell resistance is pretty nice if you want to go that route. And finally, Linlu's uh, necklace here, plus three dexterity, and dark vision for those who cannot see in the dark. So now I'm going to go over each every uh, character, so here we go. Now, the first tale we're going to go over is Dalen Red Tiger for his plus three strength upgrade. And as before, like in chapter two, you need to talk to all of them right here in this area in the brackets where you get the uh, Port Last Bounty side quest here. Now, of course, good news is you keep on talking to him, but he'll stop at certain points to resume the tale when you level up. You need to make sure you keep the uh, previous item because when you turn it in, you get a nice upgrade, which is very important. Now, when you do these tales right here to uh, talk to them every time you level, they do not have to be part of your uh, party. That's the uh, great news. So, we're going to finish talking with Dalen here. And eventually, I'll show you where the location of the item is at exactly. So, here is the exact location. During Muttman's Challenge at the Green Griffin Inn in the uh, North Road on the third level, you have to defeat this dwarf right here. It sounds daunting. Well, not really. If you know what you're doing, you could defeat him, and that's that. And you're looking for the axe right here. And that's just a nice shield, but the axe you definitely want, because eventually, if you keep on talking to Dalen, he'll mention the axe. So, we're going to grab the axe right here. And there you go. We have the uh, axe right here that is exactly ours now. So, what we're going to do right now is actually turn it in, and I'll show everybody the upgrade. Now, you need to keep on talking to Dalen here. Eventually, he'll uh, mention the axe. Now, I have Lin Lu with me uh, previously in that segment. And, of course, good news is I uh, switch uh, party members with him. So, this way, we continue the tale here. And because we got the axe right here very instantly, we got ourselves a nice plus three strength amulet. Now, the previous uh, item will be unequipped. You get an upgrade, which is very good, plus three strength. And immunity to fear. And those of you who hate fear, well, this is a great item for you, especially you frontline fighters such as fighters, paladins, I'll probably say monks, rangers, barbarians, and etc. And that is it for uh, Dalen's uh, tale for chapter two. So let's get to the next person. Now, next up is Grimnall, the uh, monk here. It's the same as Dalen in the same exact same building, which is great right here. Now, you want to make sure you have his previous item from Chapter 1, which is a Constitution item. It gets a nice upgrade, which is good. Now, here's a word of warning. You gotta make sure you accept him to your party, no matter what. If you tell him to get lost permanently, he'll get lost permanently, and you lose out on the Constitution plus upgrade. And that's great for Fortitude saves, by the way, so you should not uh, lose that. So, talk to him. And it's the same as before, you gotta level up, eventually we'll all finish talking to him. So now his item right here is in the Arcane Brotherhood tomb in the North Road, which is really nice. It's on the way to the Green Griffin Inn, you wanna hit that first before going there for Dalen's item. So you loot the chest right here like I did before on this floor. It's only a one floor dungeon, which is great. So what we're gonna do is go back to Grimnall and just keep on talking to him every time you level up. 
or when you get a few levels, just keep on talking to him continuously. Eventually, he'll ask for the mummified hand. When you do, when you get that, turn that into him right now, which is really cool. You get that nice constitution uh, upgrade plus spell resistance now, which is really good. See, we're going to show that off before I go to the next henchman. So let's look at it. There you go. Plus three constitution and some spell resistance if you do need some spell resistance instead of strength. And that's it for Grim Knoll's Chapter 2 tale. Let's get to the next one. Now, next up is Lin Lu's tale. She's in the building where Arabeth and the other henchmen are at. Make sure you have the Lin Lu's tale Chapter 1 reward item pendant of the Elf Plus 1. This is very important, otherwise you will not be able to get the upgrade. So recruit her and talk to her every time you level up, which is very important. So now next portion of the video, we're going into the troll cave here. Now we're at the uh, troll cave. So guess what? Level one. That's where you want to be right here. So go where I am at on the mini map. You'll be looking for a corpse here. Now this said corpse right here will have the journal. This is very important. You pick that up because Lindu does need it. At a certain point after you level up so many times, she will request it. So let's skip ahead towards that important conversation right here. Yeah, she's going to be keep on talking about her uh, husband's journal. And yep, there's the uh, side quest update because we're going to need it. Guess what? We already have it in our own uh, possessions right here. We'll give it to her. And our uh, pendant of the uh, elf right here will become from plus one to plus three with plus three dexterity and dark vision. So if you're one of those rogue types, you'll love it. And that's it for Lin Lu right here. So let's get to the next uh, henchman. Now, next up is Body Knock. He is where Arabeth, the Spy Master, and the other henchmen are at in Port Last right here. Same as the other ones. Recruit him into your party. Keep on talking to him every time you level up. And eventually, he'll uh, reveal what, what item you do need to uh, get. So, guess what? We're going to do that. But remember, make sure you have his item from his previous chapter in order to get the upgrade. So, when you first go in the Creator Ruins right here... We're going to avoid the trap right here. Look for one of these crates right here. One of two crates will contain the prism seeds, I think it's called. Either way, they are seeds. Grab the seeds right here. There you go. Now we have that. Great news is you could tie this with Lin Lu's tail because you need to go through the troll cave in order to get to the crater ruins. So now we have the seeds right here. Body knock will uh, actually need them eventually. So... Talk to him every time you level up. Eventually, he'll uh, ask for those seeds right here. And it'll be updated in your journal. When that happens, just tell him the uh, good news thing. Oh, I have these seeds right here. Give him the seeds. And then your uh, ring will be upgraded to plus three with plus three charisma. And still one point on health regeneration, which is really good. So let's get to the next henchman. Now, next up is Charwene's tail right here. In order to get Charwene, she's in the same building where Arabeth and the other henchmen are at. Make sure you have the Chapter 1 I Am Her Belt of the Performer plus 1 with you. Otherwise, you won't get the upgrade to plus 3, which is really nice for those of you who are bards or use charisma. So, talk to her every time when you level up once she is into your party here. And eventually, she'll ask for a lock of nymph's hair. Guess what, everybody? This step is very easy to do. Now, you need to do is go into the nymph's house at the Neverwinter Wood, Deep Woods. Yeah, once you're here, you see this uh, dresser right here, or a uh, container, wherever it is. We're going to destroy it, loot the contents, and there is the lock of nymph's hair right here. So, now we're going to start the uh, turn-in procedure. Now, same as before, keep on talking to Charwene right here. Every time you level up, eventually she'll ask for the lock of hair. Once she does and your journal is updated, well, guess what? If you have the lock of hair from the uh, nymph's house, give it to Shawnee right here and she'll upgrade that belt from plus one to plus three, which will have, if I remember right, plus three charisma, plus two perform, and plus two persuade, which is really useful for the original campaign. So let's get to the final henchman. Now, next up is the last and final henchman for this video right here. Tom I, the uh, halfling rogue right here. Same as before, the henchman is located where Arabeth and the other henchmen are at in Port Lass. Speak to Tom I, recruit him into your party. You need to keep on talking to Tom I every time you level up. 
very dire. I'm going to say it right now. I'm going to say it once again. Make sure you have Tom Mice Chapter 1 Quest Rewards. This way you get upgraded to plus 3. It's a very nice ring for those of you who are rogues or use those roguelike abilities. So once we are done talking with Tom I now next up we're going to actually show you the location where the said item is at. Now next up for his item here, the star, you need to be in one of these tower. If you have one of these wardstone like I have, things will be much, much easier. Otherwise, you have to fight the bugbears in order to bust open the chest. Good news is on normal difficulty, the chest is not trapped. So we already uh, grabbed this star right here. So now what we're going to do is get out of here, turn this into Tamai here, and it's real easy to do. So once you have the star, keep on talking to Tomai every time you level up until you get a general update that he does need the star. Yeah, he does need that star right here. We got from one V's tower, which is really good. See, now our ring got upgraded to plus three, so plus three dexterity. Also, because I complete all the henchman tales, I earned a trophy slash achievement for it too for uh, chapter two. So let me give everybody the stats right now. It is plus three dexterity, plus two disable traps, and plus two open locks. It's really great for those rogue skills and people who loves them. Well, that's it for my Neverwood Tonight Enhanced Edition How to Complete All Henchmen Tales in Chapter 2. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day or night.